Welcome back everyone. We are going to look at uh, demo number two, which is uh, coffee quality uh, with this worksheet uh, or this Power BI uh, examples. I've uh, extracted this from uh, the community, uh, Power BI community, because it's really quite a really cool, uh, a fantastic dashboard. Uh, I thought I'd just show you uh, on what you can do with this. So this is a screen capture of the coffee dashboard. Uh, we can see here, um, there are a few things that you can actually see. There's a every score by country in terms of the ranking, coffee quality, followed by where the attitude and also the total score, uh, as well as the breakdown in terms of the country that produced these coffee, be it acidity, aroma, balance, uh, body, as well as the flavor. So you can see that the quality is really quite nice looking. And sorry, because I did a screen capture, so this. Uh, is what uh, it's like a stock price ticker so it's uh, the, the text that's captured is only just an extract of it um, you can download this uh, from the uh, provider themselves uh, they work with um, Microsoft to, to create this uh, so that the community advances in terms of the creation of dashboard so looking at this um, I don't believe you can actually make this full view. No, you can't. You can't do that with the um, Power, De Power BI desktop. You can do that with the uh, Power BI service, which is the browser-based uh, um, Power BI. So looking at this, uh, this is exactly what we've mentioned before. Notice that there's this icon here, uh, which gives you this table view. You can also click the country or the global view uh, by control click it will bring up um, hopefully the map view of it notice that uh, it brings it up it does take a wee while depending on your PC as well you can look at the attitude as well as uh, total score let's see if we can remove the outliers and it brings out uh, a nice slightly different if you add the outliers you can see that there's a few here and what who is this and notice that it actually brings it up. It can bring up the uh, attitude, altitude. Ethiopia is uh, quite a high country, or high in terms of the uh, relative to the sea level. And you notice the score is uh, pretty high. So let's uh, bring this up over here. So in terms of the score, it's uh, 89.78. So this is in terms of the altitude as well as total score so these are average score by countries uh, you have this sliders and you have questions and uh, a few other things too so over here um, Papua New Guinea is quite an interesting example let's scroll down if we can see Papua New Guinea a little bit more you can extract it and look at the it's consistent right through throughout maybe it's not full uh, as full body as uh, some of the rest but it's still pretty good so let's minimize this a little bit. So you can see here this solid, almost fully black view. It's a, it's a reflection of the quality of coffee that's produced by Papua New Guinea. The other one that's Ethiopia doesn't see. Oh, there we go. Ethiopia is shown up here. You can you can you can actually blow it up. Uh, there's a few locations in Ethiopia. Some are quite good. Some not so much. Yeah, so minimize that. So this is an example of what Power BI can do uh, if you do utilize it properly. You can really create very, very nice visual out of it as well. Okay, the third uh, demo that I do want to show you is uh, global video games sales. Uh, this is again a very nice Power BI, uh, there's been a dashboard that's been created um, by uh, I think similar vendor as well. They do work uh, uh, quite a fair bit with uh, Microsoft to produce this to really advance the uh, quality of dashboard being created. So if you're looking at this, this is of course Super Mario, uh, the game Super Mario. Um, you can look at the global sales by games. You have the Wii Sports, the Grand Theft Auto, and all the way down to we play so this is the games you can also look at the publisher as well uh, notice that the games because of the global financial crisis it dropped it pretty much plunged quite substantially um, 
you can't always attribute it to that. Uh, there must be other reasons for the drop. Uh, that uh, could also be coincided with the uh, the fact that games are moved uh, from desk console to mobile based games. You can see here these are PlayStation console, Xbox 360 console, PlayStation 3 also console, Wii is also console based and um, this data obviously doesn't include mobile so let me come over to the Power BI just now it's just a screen capture so if you look at this, this is the uh, the actual desktop itself. You can slide along uh, and play with this um, version two. Let's see what's version two. There's an increase in CPU correlates with more console cell. Uh, I can't really tell from this chart. How about this? Um, this is uh, looking at the games by genre as um, to come back to version one. So the, the, this is quite troubling if you are a video game sales uh, producer. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't seem like that uh, it includes the mobile game, which is where the uh, trend has been shifting towards. Nintendo was top, Electronics Art second, and it dropped quite substantially. From what I can gather here, um, it doesn't seem to include mobile games apps um, but nevertheless the point about all of this is what are the possibilities of what you can do with the power bi and i hope uh, this three examples uh, has motivated you that you're gonna give it a go uh, the best that you can to try to to create um really really exciting um at all um, dashboard for your own uh, use so with that, I'm going to stop. Thank you once again for watching.